Hey, this is Yosef Edest of 52 Frames, and I just wanted to go over a quick tutorial with you guys about layer masks in Photoshop. Layer mask is such a powerful tool, and I'm gonna use this photograph as an example. We see me and my friend here holding up our uh, gorgeous 70 to 200 Canon lens. Um, it's not the gear, people. It's the photograph, and obviously you would never shoot such a close subject <laughs> with a lens like this. Uh, but the point of this photograph, there was really only one camera here, and we just kind of uh, switched off taking the photo. So I'm going to bring this into Photoshop to show you real, real quick how this is done. And layer masks is such a powerful tool, not just in this special effects type of work, but even in getting uh, any type of specific effect that you want in your photo regarding color or clarity you can really specify, get detailed work uh, using this tool. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna select all and cut and paste as a new layer onto uh, our original image. Um, a quick word about layers, if, if any of you are starting from the beginning, I once heard a great example from this guy who said that layers are like a coffee table, where your background layer, your initial layer here, is like a table. And then every additional layer, if I can toggle this off here, I'll add a new empty layer. Every new layer is like putting a sheet of plastic over your table. So I'll take my brush tool and start to paint on top of this, but really I'm painting on this plastic layer, if you will. And I can toggle it on and off, it's not gonna affect the initial image. Uh, if I went to my erase tool and started erasing, I'm only erasing the brush strokes that I just created. As opposed to if I went to my original layer and started brushing on here and then tried to erase that with the erase tool, it's affecting the actual image. So in this case, we have a layer that is the second photo of me uh, holding the camera here on the left side. So we're gonna now hit this magical button called create a layer mask. And a layer mask is a very, very simple process to understand. Basically, when this layer mask is white, that means it's visible. And anywhere that the layer mask is painted black, that means it is not going to be visible, i.e. it's going to create that eraser, if you will, on our plastic sheet, on our layer, so that the layer underneath will be visible. So if I just paint over here, what I'm actually doing is I'm deleting the, the uh, data from this layer and now we're seeing what's underneath. I can toggle on and off and you'll see that that portion is only from the bottom layer. So that's actually uh, the opposite of, of what we want to do in this example. So what I'll do first is I'll actually hit Control or Command I. Uh, after I create the layer mask, and that will make it all black. You see it's filled all in black. Uh, you, you could also do that manually if you wanted to by making a very large brush and brushing it all in black, but that's, uh, that's really not the ideal way to do it. But if that helps you to understand the, the process of what's going on. So this layer is essentially invisible right now, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my brush tool, okay, and I'm gonna change it to white, and I'm just gonna paint wherever I, I wanna bring in this, this photo. So I wanna bring in myself here holding the camera. So we'll just paint that on and magically the effect is created. Now you can get really detailed with this. You see there's a, there's a little bit of a color shift between both uh, b between each photo from the time it was taken. So I can even lower the opacity and now I'll, I'll switch my brush to black and this is basically essentially just erasing. And you can get really detailed here. You can, you can erase the parts that you don't wanna see and keep them just toggling back and forth. Let's say I erased a little bit too much, so I can go back and now just choose my white brush and paint that right back in. Go back to my black brush. And you know, this would this would require a bit more finesse to get to the finished product, but you can already see it's starting to uh, naturally fit into the scene more. And you know, this this does like I mentioned, doesn't uh, only come into play when you're 
creating these special effects type things. You can do this anytime you want a specific part of your image edited uh, for a different color or clarity. For example, let's say we wanted to make this uh, sky darker in this section. So I, I could create an adjustment layer, curves adjustment layer, and bring that, bring that adjustment down. Now, obviously that's gonna affect the whole image. But if I went to that layer's layer mask, which by the way, all adjustment layers come with its own layer mask automatically, uh, and I inverted it to black, and then with a white brush, I just started painting in the sky. And because I'm at 50% opacity, I have a lot of control. I could paint over the parts that I want a bit darker. And you see very quickly, I have a very controlled edit on just a specific portion of the sky. It works very well with, uh, let's say you want detail in your subject's hair. So you can, you can create that detail first over the whole image and then just specify the exact um, point of the image that you want to edit. It's a hugely powerful tool. I really recommend you guys experiment with this. Uh, here are some photos that I've created in the past using layer masks. It, it really, that's the, the core of how these images were done. This one, obviously, uh, this one took quite some time, uh, but it's all done through the power of layer masks. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. As always, you can go to 52frames.com to see other tutorials like this and to join our fun weekly photo challenge. And until next time, happy shooting.